Hey guys, it's been a while, but that's because I am finally making my move to Australia. Let me tell you, it has been one hell of a pain in the ass to book all my travels, keep up to date with the COVID guidelines, and pack up my entire life in two suitcases to bring with me across the Indian Ocean. So, here goes nothing. It's the 7th of December, and I have just received an email that we can do our animal handling pracs in SEM 1 and not before SEM 1 so they kind of arranged that for us for Singaporean students coming in in February instead of January so that's good news I can rest assured and just book my ticket for February What's happening? Oh my gosh! The WA will ease its hard border arrangements Saturday the 5th of February we have a date, February 5th. February 5th. Saturday, February 5th is now locked in. Alrighty, so today is the 13th of December. The Western Australian government has announced that they are going to open their borders in 5th of February, which is the date that I booked for. And that means that I don't have to quarantine when I get there. Yeah, so I think I'm the first batch of people arriving from Singapore on the 5th of February. And... Yes, finally I have a new training environment. I have a new environment in general. I've been stuck in Singapore for two years and I acknowledge that I'm really really privileged to be able to travel in this season and, and also just for memory's sake. I got this chalk bucket on like a garage sale kind of thing. I got this chalk bucket for five bucks guys, okay. It's a steal, it's five bucks. Like I love it. I've got some chalk on my face, but Okay, anyways, yeah. Now uh, that's the update. My dad wanted to experience my safety briefing before I left my job, so I managed to drag him to rock climbing. My last gym session in Singapore. Hello, just got done with my massage, and it's 20th of Jan today. It's a little life update, even though I've booked my flight on the 5th of February, WA just announced that. People flying in have to quarantine now instead of the VTL vaccinated travel in arrangement that didn't need quarantine. So it's a bit noisy on the side of the road, but yeah, now I need to quarantine before I thought I could settle in because of my early flight, but I guess not. Just cutting very close before my check in date. So. my last meet in Singapore and it was okay. I'm happy. Hey. Hello. It's the last day of work today. Company has really given me a lot. From me learning how to catch a lead for learning how to lead. Yeah just a lot of memories here and new friends made so many friends made. I'm gonna Stay here. <laughs> yep, yeah, wish me luck. The last day usually has the most trouble.
that's it. It's my last one. nine actual days away from flying to Australia yeah so not gonna lie it is kind of annoying thing like it's getting kind of tiring with all the changes in COVID policies and COVID travel measures well at one point of time they, they said that oh VTL is gonna open and then on the 20th of January they said that no we're gonna close it off and that was like what Less than 20 days to go for a lot of students flying. Western Australia will remain shut indefinitely. And keep West Australians locked in, the world locked out. The February 5th opening date will be pushed back indefinitely. Life update. <laughs> so, uh, Perth announced that we had to fly in before the 5th of February and our flights got cancelled. So, me and my batch mates booked a last minute flight to Melbourne um, which is happening two days later so we are um, speed running our packing process and this is how it looks like it's really stressful booking accommodation and seeing what are the rules because the rules apparently keep changing even with our booked flight so we don't know whether we need to quarantine how are we gonna quarantine but are we gonna have a hotel quarantine are we gonna are we gonna self-quarantine what tests do we have to take to go to perth um, whether we have to stay in melbourne 14 days or we could just fly straight to perth so for reference this is four different emails sent with four different instructions on how to get to wa sent within a period of two weeks when's my g2g pass gonna get accepted because it's not approved yet my friends has their passes approved and Mine hasn't, even though I keyed in like the same information. So I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, it's getting it's getting really intense. This entire episode of like mess, like stress packing and last minute travels. I literally booked the flight that's gonna change my life in three days before it flies off because of all the changing rules. Life's great. Well, I guess I'm gonna enjoy Mel Melbourne and hope I don't get COVID there. Queen. Oh, oh. 